Hello students. In my previous slides, I had actually explained about how latitudes and longitudes are actually found out. In this video, I will actually explain the most important aspect of this chapter that is how to find out the time, the longitude and antipode of a place that is calculation of time, longitude and antipodes. Now, remember one thing, this is actually very important because five marks question related with finding the time or longitude will always come and it is the most easiest way to score the marks. So we'll start with just by knowing the basics. If you remember, I had told you earlier also that the time towards the east normally goes on increasing. For example, if this is zero degree longitude, if the places are located in the east, then the time will also in, uh, increase. For example, if a place is located at 1 degree east, say 2 degree east, say 3 degree east, if and similarly 1 degree west, 2 degree west, 3 degree west, the time if here it is 12 midnight, 12 am, at 1 degree east longitude it will be 12 4 am. At 2 degree east, it will be 12, 12, 8 am. At 3 degree, 12, 12 am. And so on, it will keep on increasing. But in the places that are located to the west of the 0 degree, the time will decrease by 4 minutes. For example, here, it will be 1 degree west, it will be 11.56 pm. Here, 11 52 pm similarly it will go on decreasing that basic concept has to be take has always has to be kept in mind today first we will discuss how to find out the time say for example take for example here always two longitudes will be given say for example i am taking two imaginary longitudes for example one place is located at 12 degree east and another place for example is located at say 40 degree west. Time of one place is given say for example at 40 degree west the time is actually 5 pm. We have to find out the time at the place 12 degree east. Say for example this is place A this is place B. Now what we need to do, before going into actual sums, first we have to draw a chart like this and put this information here. Say this is 0 degree, 40 degree west will be obviously located here, that is place A and place B 12 degree east that is place B. Time of this place is given that is 5 pm and the time of this place we have to find out. Now before starting some of the basic things that you need to remember. First whatever is that we have to find out the difference between these two places. For example we have to first write longitudinal difference between A and B. Now, here always keep in mind if the two places that are given, if they are located in different hemispheres, like in this case, to find out the difference, we have to add them like in this case 40 degree plus 12 degree. If the two places are located in the same hemisphere, if the two places are located in the same hemisphere, then to find the longitudinal difference, we have to subtract the two longitudes. 
but here as they are located in two different hemispheres the difference will be 52 degree now the next thing we have to write is 1 degree longitude means a difference of 4 minutes therefore here 52 degree is there 52 degree longitude means a difference of 52 into 4 minutes is equal to that will be 8 that is 208 minutes now this 208 minutes we need to convert it into hours that is you can do it very simply 208 divided by 60 it will actually give you how many hours and minutes in this case it will be 3 hours this uh, so, uh, division you can do it in the rough also no need to show it in the front page also you can do it in the rough also that will be 3 hours and 28 minutes now we have to give a statement that is since place B is located further or you can also write to the east of A therefore its time will be ahead now therefore time at place B is equal to the time that was given if you remember that was 5 p.m. 5 p.m plus 3 hours and 28 minutes is equal to if you add this to that is 5, 6, 7, 8 hours and 28 minutes that is 8, 28 p.m. I think you have understood it very easily it's a quite a simple one now let's do another sum of the same type say in this case here also for example two places are given say take a take for example uh, This is place A, this is place B. Say this is located at 128 degree east and this place is located say at 15 degree east. That is both of them are located in the same hemisphere. And say time of this place is given. Say for example it is uh, say 3 30 p.m. Now we have to find out the time here. Here also the first thing that we will be writing longitudinal difference.
between A and B is equal to 128 degree and since they are located in the same hemisphere we have to subtract it. Now 128 minus 15 degree it will come to 113 degree. Now in the like in the same way here also we will write 1 degree longitude means a difference of four minutes therefore here 113 degree is there 113 degree longitude means a difference of 113 degree into four minutes it will come to 452 minutes now we have to convert it into hours as I told you earlier also either you can do it in rough you no need to show it here if you are doing it in rough you have to just divide it by 60 for example in this case say 452 divided by 60 It will come 7 hours and 32 minutes or here we will write 7 hours and 32 minutes. Now we have to give a statement here that is since place B is located to the west of A since place B is located to the west of A. Therefore, its time will be behind. So, time at B is equal to 3.30 p.m. minus this one 7 hours and 32 minutes. Now, here there is actually a problem in the earlier case we just added it if the students who are very good in maths for them subtracting this actually is not a problem but most of most of the students they are actually weak in maths so I'll give show you a very simple basic rule to follow while subtracting this kind of thing but keep in mind that it is only applicable only when what you are subtracting is more than the time that is given. Suppose here if it was just 1 hour 32 minute we could have easily done it. But here as it is slightly more than that it will come a problem. Now what we have to do? Now for example 3.30 pm and we have to subtract 7 hours and 
32 minutes 32 minutes now the first thing that we have to do this 330 in this case first we have to see whether it is written am or pm pm or am am i think you know it is anti meridian pm post meridian that is after 12 pm if the time that is given is in pm we have to add 12 hours to the time that is here that is 330 we will add 12 hours to this it will become 15.30 now another thing if we write 7.32 this figure is actually smaller compared to this so if we don't face a problem what we will do we will take one hour from this from here to here shift it here that is it will become 14 and if we shift one hour that is 60 minutes here it will come 1490 it will become 1490 now if we write like this 732 in both the cases it is these figures are smaller now just subtract it 8 here 5 here 7 that is 758 am now suppose just for example if suppose this this was instead of 3 30 pm it was suppose am then what we would have done along with this 3 30 we would have added 24 hours it would have become 27 30 then in the same manner if we had written 732 here this would be smaller we will transfer one hour that is it will become 2690 now 732 again 58 1958 now the basic difference between these two is actually here it has come directly in am and here it has come directly answered in pm that is the only advantage of doing this but you can do this if you are very good in maths you can just calculate in your fingers it can be done you need not show this thing in front you can do it in the rough now coming back to the sum so it has come 758 A that is the time at place B is time at place B is 7.58 a.m. I hope you have understood the basic concept in in our next we will be discussing how to find out the longitude in the meantime practice the sums that is given in your book we will discuss one more sum but that will be done in another video because the videos if they become too long it cannot be posted in whatsapp so i am stopping here i will give another example in another video have a good day